Hey, what's going on guys? It's Cliff with Paint Flamingo Power Wash. I'm back with a brand new video for you guys. Today we're gonna to be working in Carrollwood, Florida. We're gonna be doing uh, gutter cleaning as well as a pool cage and pool deck cleaning. Uh, this is a returning customer of mine. Uh, once I show you this pool, you guys are gonna recognize it. Hashim, if you're watching. Yeah, this is the house where you fill in the pool. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I did this roof by myself as well. When I did the one man roof video, this is it here, still clean. So I service this customer about twice a year. So uh, today we're gonna be doing the gutters. Uh, they do have the pool cage on the pool uh, on the golf course. So there's a lot of trees back here that gets the uh, gutters pretty full. So I'm gonna jump up there with my blower, get those cleaned up. When I come down, I'll show you guys the pool cage and the uh, pool deck. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like, comment, and leave any questions you got in the comment section. This is the fast way to get them answered. Y'all stay tuned. I'm gonna show you guys what we got going on. The roof is clean still. It's been about a year. A little bit over a year. I think it's flawless. So this is the pool cage here. Top view. She always get a lot of leaves up here. On the corner right there. They built this thing right here to keep the leaves off the cage, but they go underneath it. But you can see it's full of leaves down there still. I'm gonna blow all those out. I had flushed all these out last time I was, when I was doing the roof, I cleaned everything up here. It's that time, man, it's due. And I also been doing the front gutters as well. Gutters got gutter guards, so that was nice and easy. I'm gonna get down, clean up the front areas, like the walkway, the entrance, as well as the back area by the, uh, the pool cage. So with the leaves, you have to make it known with your customer before you start the job what you offer. Uh, everybody's different. Some people, you know, clean the leaves up. Uh, some people just, you know what I'm saying, make sure everything looks good. And uh, other people don't bag the leaves up uh, at all, you know. They leave that for the landscaping crew. So you just gotta make that known with your customer what you what you offer uh, before you start the job. So back here we all like I said we all clean up back here. I gotta get my ladder so I can get that piece right there. Everything else is blown out. I'm gonna go clean up downstairs. All right, we're on the other side. We're gonna get. Stuff out of here. Oh, look what we got in here. Golf ball. I'm not gonna throw it out there <laughs> like I did last time. <laughs> gutter tool it had a hook on here it's broken I gotta get another one I can still use this part a little nice handy dandy tool right there boy
Good thing is we got some dry leaves. I hate wet, wet leaves and gutters. Oh, look what I got. Another golf ball. Collecting them now, huh? Alright, so it's cleaned up. Good to go, guys. Alright, let's take a look at the pool cage. The gutters are cleaned up nice. So, uh, this is the last part of this job. This is the pool cage here. Normally not a lot of algae. Just a lot of dust, pollen on the screens. Oh yeah. That was full of leaves earlier. Nice and clear right there. But as far as the, uh, the cage go, it is an old cage. These cages show more oxidation, I swear, than the white ones. But um, we got the basic dust on here, a little bit of algae, but not, not too heavy though. Um, you can see the oxidation on the cage. You got a lot of cobwebs. So that oxidation on there, actually that's algae. Got some algae right here on the corner. Oh, oh that's the oxidation right here. There it goes. So the, see that, how that finish? It's worn off, worn away. It's oxidation right there. You know what's crazy? I just got a weird call. Um, somebody called me for a pool cage cleaning, but they want they they want debris removal. Just a bunch of leaves and stuff like that on the on the roof. I mean, of the cage. So. I don't do that type of work, man. If I'm already there, I'm cleaning the cage, there's some stuff on top. I try my best to get uh, rid of it, but just to go out, just to do leaf removal, debris removal of a pool cage, it's just calling for a disaster, man. I mean, those things, you know, all you do is fight with them the whole time. Look, I got a little friend, look. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Wanna give me a hand? Wanna give me a hand? Nice dog. <laughs> I'm a dog whisperer, man. Dogs always come up to me. Alright, I gotta get to work, buddy. Alright, I got about 250 feet of hose out right now. Get this thing going, man. Let's go. guys haven't yet make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel i'd appreciate if you do that for me you guys know i do uh i get back to the channel man i get back all the time you know last time i did five winners that was like 500 dollars worth of uh giveaways to you guys because without you guys the channel would not be where it is man so i appreciate y'all support if y'all could Please subscribe. I need one more person to reach out, man, to get their fries. I just thought about it. Uh, JDM, JDM soft wash. If you're watching, you did win the J Rod. I haven't seen you in a while, uh, so therefore, please contact me. 
Uh, if not, I try to look look up, um, see if I can find you online somewhere. Uh, I know my man Trini in DC got his pair of hub boots. My man Damien got his pair of hub boots. Miss uh, Andrea Manning got her fifty dollar gift card. And who won the last? Uh, uh, Roman, my man Roman Garcia. He won the twenty-five dollar gift card. He ought to receive that as well. Thank you guys for letting me know you received it too. So JDM, man, get on, get on, get on the horn, man, get on the horn. I need you. I need you to collect your prize. My next job is gonna be a. <laughs> A doozy, boy. A uh, three-story pool. I mean, uh, a three-story flat tile roof cleaning on the beach in Dunedin, Florida. I tried to do it last week, but um, <laughs> my 32-foot ladder, my 32-foot ladder could not reach it. So uh, we got to go back with a 40. I got to rent a 40-footer to get up there. It's gonna be up in the clouds, guys. It's gonna be a nice, beautiful house. Uh, of course, a big, big ticket. Side of the cage is all soaked up. All the uh, spider webs starting to melt away. You can see them when they start melting away, it starts to start dripping. SA just like breaks them down. So now we're gonna go outside and give it a rinse. Come inside and I got this deck. I went ahead and pre treated the deck so it'll be easy to surface clean it, and get all the algae up. All right, let's go. finished with the job here pool deck is cleaned up cage is cleaned up a bunch of pine needles on there still that those things are a pain but all the algae that was there is gone pretty clean where you see it pine needles can't stand those things take a lap around here make sure everything is rinsed off good 
ahead and close that door. Yes, sir. Underneath here is all rinsed up. All the furniture is rinsed up for them. Job well done. All right, y'all, I'm going to pack it up. I'm going to catch y'all on the next job. Let's go. All right, guys, we're at the second job for the day. Right now, we're in Dunedin, Florida. I got my buddy Blair with me right here. So, yeah, like I was saying, Blair um, does gutters. So this customer asked him to clean the roof, do, do, uh, do their do roof cleaning, which they don't. They only do gutters, so he passed the lead on to me. So I'm going to take care of this roof. Big, tall roof, three-story high. So we had to go rent uh, a 40-foot ladder. So I'm about to go to the moon, man. We got it perched up right here. It's tall, guys. <laughs> Tallest roof I'm going to ever do. So it's a flat tile roof. Um, we're gonna be hitting it with a six percent, probably six and a half, man. Cause I don't want to be able, I don't want to be able to, uh, I don't want to go up there twice. That's what I want to say. I want to spray one time, one time only, get it done, and don't have to worry about it. So I'm gonna get Blair set up with the uh, pressure washer, so all the plants can be wetted down. Uh, the back doesn't have plants; it's just a travertine deck. It's a beautiful, uh, beautiful, beautiful view back there. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when I get up there. All right, guys, we're on top of the roof right now. Ooh, look at this view, man. Look at this view. Beautiful. So this is the roof here. You see how black it is? Never been cleaned before. We're three stories up high, man. We can see the whole entire done eating. <laughs> Chris, what's up, man? I might see your house from now. I'm from up here, Chris. I can see your house from here. <laughs> but yeah we're gonna apply our mix we're gonna start in the back because in the back there's just a deck a travertine deck um the plants are mostly uh in that corner right there on this side and a few over here they do have the two cars in the front i'm gonna have blair wet those down as i'm um washing up here all right i'm gonna put you guys in the head cam and then um start spraying it's not gonna be a lot of uh, commentary because I'm gonna have my mask on.
All right, guys, we got the section from back here all the way around. I'm not gonna be able to spray this back section here because they have a copper roof. Copper and SH does not mix, so we know that's something we have to discuss with the customer. You know, only way to do that is probably to get some kind of covering for it, which we didn't have today. So therefore, we're just gonna clean all the front areas as much as you can and you know as far as the back areas is concerned as well so we're gonna you see you guys see the roof is cleaning up right before your eyes but in the back area you don't want to mess with that with the copper I'm sorry I couldn't talk too much today on this one here. Uh, you guys can see total transformation. Everything over here is drying up. The dark areas is areas I just sprayed one time, one time only. I'm not gonna clean back here. So the fact that there's a, a copper roof right there. Let me show you guys. And I don't want to get the SH on there because copper and uh, SH does not mix. So uh, you can see in the difference. I was gonna clean it, but I was like, no, no risk taken. Let's just do it the right way. I mean, look at this. Look at that compared to that. This is the copper area. We don't want to take no risk. So I don't want to spray. They had gutters. You know what's crazy? When I did the estimate, they had gutters uh, last week. I came here with my 32 foot ladder. I came here with the 32 foot ladder and I could not reach. They had the gutters. They removed the gutters, I guess sometime this week. And now I'm stuck with no gutters. The gutters would have helped me a lot, but even then you don't want to overspray to get on the copper. You know, you don't want to risk it. So therefore, you know, if I got to take money off the job because it wasn't done fully, I'd rather do that than the customer or myself more money in the long run all right so 
we're gonna leave it like this we're gonna send some pictures and let her see um the results and um you know maybe we can do some work around maybe protect the copper roof um you know from getting the sh on it maybe we'll come back and do it again i'm not sure but um as far as the rest of the roof you can see everything is dried up nicely looking good man i got blair up there uh just we're just doing an extra precaution man with these gutters i mean not that gutters but uh with that roof that copper roof man we're trying to we don't want no issues man so we're gonna go, we're just going ahead and um rinse it down really good you don't want no problem so better take a chance of overworking than have to uh come out the pocket <laughs> but it's a beautiful out there in dunedin florida it's a beautiful property man i love to live out here where i fish every day every day Look like they got two boats pretty cool all right you guys man we're all done that was a crazy roof job would you say um i had to give the custom off a few hundred bucks just to make up for the uh you know the little mishap of not able to clean the rest of the roof you know sometimes guys you just gotta pass up on a you know i'd rather lose that money than risk losing more money or losing losing the customer because she appreciated that that i took the time to uh you know say make sure her property was safe the husband came home and he knew exactly what i was talking about so he he appreciated that too so i don't want i didn't want to take the risk and it, it paid off in the long run the roof looks great that roof has never been cleaned before since the house was, was built or uh, i want to say 25 years ago so that roof has never been cleaned um then somebody else will probably have to uh come back and clean that that area that roof that little that little you because I don't want to take the risk. Yeah, you can cover it. Like I said, you can cover it and, you know, spray it. And man, I just don't want to take a chance of having a void in that covering because the SH touches that, um, that roof, it's a wrap, man. It's a wrap. So <laughs> there's no way to come, back to, uh, to come back from that. So I'd rather not take the chance. It's still decent money. I mean, we were there for a total of three hours. Um, so, Shout out my boy Blair for coming through and make sure everything um, stayed wet, you know, being my ground guy. Um, it's about to rain right now, so it's perfect. Some more rinsing, right? So <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. Peace.